it's a Sunday morning. We came to Sitia, the city on the east of Crete, after two hours and a half uh, driving from my bus from Hersonisos. Obviously, at the first impression, it's not a touristic city, but quite a big city. And it is Sunday, and uh, everything is very peaceful. Shops doesn't work. The bus station is in front of the Archaeological Museum of Sitia. And we are going to walk in the direction of the sea. Well, first impression is it is it, it, it is the city. It's not village. It's the city. It's a quite big city, but not the touristic one, and uh, uh, quite isolated from the rest of Crete. Only three buses a day comes here. And the last bus from Sitia is at 4.30 p.m. So somehow from, an, from me unknown reason this big city is like island in island of Crete. And we are going to, to walk along the city to see how it looks like. Uh, this is some pedestrian street, some walking area.
Well, uh, my first impression, it is authentic city, very nice. Organized. Although it's Sunday morning, we can see people here. So I have to say that my, uh, if we compare it with Ira Petra, it's much better impression. This city is more lively. As I said, it's Sunday and looks more rich, more organized. With the new buildings, very clean. lovely restaurants around harbor Yes, it's a very nice city. I think this first impression will not be changed. Uh, we are going to take a walk by the sea. Maybe it's the best way because it's uh, relatively early in the morning, so sun is not so high. And then. I think that in this direction is a beach, city beach, we'll see how it looks like. We don't expect too much from the city beach, but it is always good in Greece if city has a beach, otherwise you'll have to take a bus to some other parts around the city. So it's always good if city has a city beach. Okay, here we have authentic Greek tavernas. Absolutely positive experience after Ira Petra.
this city is really refreshing for me. So it's a, it's a pity that I have to leave at 4 p.m. I have to stay more. And uh, once more I'll say it's really unusual that you haven't won a late bus maybe at 9 p.m. for Iraklio. But this is Greece, this is something that is here maybe not so important. Maybe the idea is if you come here, you'll like it so much that you'll decide to stay here. So that's the reason why connections with the other parts of Crete are not so good. Okay, here is the beach. Quite good. Quite good. Very good. On one city beach it looks very good. And as you can see we can walk easily. It's a big walking area. It's very organized for the pedestrians. So this is the city beach of Sitia.
It is a long beach, quite a long. Almost one kilometer, as I can see. You can see on the internet that it's uh, nearby the road. It is nearby the road, but it's not some... There are not many cars uh, passing. It is good. We'll come later to see how swimming looks like here. People are in the water. People are in the water. It looks very pleasant. It is, at this moment, this city is a real surprise for me. Positive surprise. Here's a safeguard, okay. So it's organized beach. Out of the water is sand. You'll see later what's in the water. Maybe small little stones, but small. Really, really nice. Uh, we are at the beach and there are not waves, just small ones. Although, uh, when we are approaching Sitia, all along the coast, the waves were quite strong. So, I think that maybe this place is good because on the northern Crete, Usually we have waves and that's a, that's a problem if you want to swim. And uh, the marks for the for the beach are uh, quite far away, about 100 meters from the from the shore, and I can see the men swimming under there. So it could be one of the best beaches in Crete. Although you will not see written in any article on the internet. And city looks very nice, very authentic. At this moment, I can say, come to Sitia, come here, and maybe even stay here. It seems that this city kept tradition, but it's also organized in modern way. So, it is very good.
Now we are going uh, back into the center of the city. But we are not walking by the beach, we are walking um, just nearby the street which goes near the beach. And as you can see, this street is not street with some big traffic. It's almost, I think it's pedestrian street. I don't, I don't know why uh, YouTubers say that this street is by the road. This beach is by the road. It's, it's, it's not only part of it, maybe. But the best part of the beach, the widest part of the beach, is just in the pedestrian part of the city. And it's really good. Okay, uh, nearby Sitia is a uh, famous vi village Paleocastra and there is a famous beach Hawaii and some many famous beaches and due to the really really bad connections that's something that you don't like from this city uh, we can't go there today we have to stay here a few days to explore all of it but if you are here this beach is absolutely enough for you and this city is absolutely enough you can feel it After Irapetra, where we saw maybe 200 people in 5 hours, it's really refreshment. This city is uh, so lively on Sunday morning. So... That's great. You see, everything looks new. Well, after Irapetra, where we hardly see maybe 200 people in five hours, this city is so lively on Sunday morning and looks uh, new and uh, organized. So it's a real refreshment for us and a real surprise. And once more, it's, uh, it tells me that you have to explore some things alone and not only listen to the uh, facts that you can see on YouTube or on uh, internet everywhere 
I have never seen so many recommendations for this city. But I've seen recommendations for many others, which are not so good and not so nice like this one. And, and all of this area is also under protection of uh, United Nations Organization, UNESCO, and so definitely there is something here that you have to visit. It looks beautiful.
we are in the city up the hill. All the time we were climbing up the hill and we still can go up the hill. And this is one of uh, the characteristic streets. See? You see, climbing here is something that is usual. You have to be in good shape to walk around the city. But the people usually have a car or motorbikes, so it's not a problem for them. We are almost on the top of the city. Uh, you see how high it is. Like you are climbing on some big hill.
This part of the city is very traditional. All buildings are white. And and, uh, it's real Greece and it's very peaceful here. Opposite to the center, to the lively center of the city. And as I said, we are just on the top of the city. на ютубе мали
Now we are going down and we are going to see the fortress. It's really, really, really hilly, in fact, down hilly. So many streets left and right. Okay, it seems it's here. The for here is the fortress. I go inside if it is possible for this moment it is possible I think we'll finally have some viewpoint from where we can see everything from the top Okay, okay, just a moment, okay. Uh. Okay, it's a one nice viewpoint and uh, maybe it's time for the, my second impression about this city. 
Okay, I have to say I am now a little bit disappointed because I walked quite a lot uphill through the city. It's very traditional, it looks very nice. But you can't see there uh, no shops, uh, no restaurants, uh, no traditional tavernas. They, 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 they don't need that for the tourists, but even for the local people. So it's just a place where they live, and so everything is concentrated down, down in the in the center of the city around the harbor. And I'm this moment I'm considering if I could stay in this city for the longer time and uh, I have to say no more than a few days because uh, uh, city is lovely it's absolutely okay but not well connected with the uh, rest of the not the rest of the grid it's not connected good with the with the, its surroundings here uh, are very beautiful beach around it here is uh, some uh, locations under the protection of United Nations, but in each uh, for the each place you you can take a bus only twice a day, and you can you have to go back very early. So this city doesn't have good uh, connections from from for me unknown reason. If you go to Y Beach, you can go in the morning at 10 o'clock, and then you have to go back at 3 p.m. And Y Beach is uh, quite close to here, so. Maybe a few days here, it's good, it's okay, and then maybe go to Paleo Castro or uh, somewhere nearby Y Beach or something like that. But to stay here and uh, to go from here uh, anywhere, I think it's too complicated. Only if you have a rent a car, and uh, then that case it can be a good solution for you. This is definitely not a uh, tourist-oriented uh, uh, city. But like in Rapetra, I, I'm wondering what do these people do for a living with? I don't have see some kind of industry on the, or uh, some special agriculture, maybe olive oil, but we can't live only from this. It's a big question for me in many, many parts of the, of the Crete. Those streets that are close to the to the sea are, are much more uh, organized with the uh, restaurants. Okay, it's Sunday today, so <laughs> many of them doesn't work. 
but uh, those streets are I would say okay and something happening here you can see shops and uh, everything you need in one city but when you're going up I suppose uh, nobody expects you are going up there you can see only houses for for the people that they live there that, that live there and that's all it is nice uh, it's pictureless but somehow something is missing uh, it's missing some activities some some events some some place and as you can see there are not much tourists here not much only few But even here we can see that some shops are permanently closed. Okay, in these pandemic times maybe it's something that's expected. But there is something unusual for me in for Crete. It's touristic destination, world class touristic destination. This island could be very, very rich. Somehow it's not happening. I think local people here are not wealthy people, they have their personal qualities, it's very pleasant to be here, they're very polite, but somehow they are not rich, and I don't know why, so many tourists come here. And these cities should be excellent and they are somehow struggling to survive, I think.
this beach for you and for me. This beach has a blue flag. Always it's a bit confused. Uh, it, it seems that half of the beach has a blue flag, the other doesn't. But the blue flag is on the both halves of the beach, although uh, if you look what is written on the beach, only half is a blue flag. But generally it is a clean beach, the water is clean. Uh, water is clear, but not so much clear, because uh, it's a wind and it's a sandy beach, so those winds makes the sun go up and so it's not so clear but it's clean beach it's long about 800 meters you can swim here if we compare it with the beach in Tira Petra it's a longer beach but Tira Petra has crystal clear water but it, it seems it's characteristic of the south of the Crete so I am satisfied with this beach it is Half of the beach is nearby the road, that's a fact. But this road is, is not road with big traffic, so you don't have this. You don't have problem with this. Okay. And the beginning of the beach is nearby pedestrian zone. It is city beach, so if you want to explore some other beach from here, you have to go. Dubai Beach or uh, Yola Beach, uh, the, the region of Paleo Castro. But if, if I want to compare it with Ira Petra, it's a more lively city, but m less connected with the, the other part of Greece and not connected with, with its roots. So, complicated but as I said it is a good beach here the city is uh, quite li lively especially around the sea and you can spend here a few days no more thank you for watching
here we are again at uh, Sitia bus station just nearby is the archaeological museum of Sitia and we are going back to Hersonisos I don't know what to say Almost the same thing happens like in Irapetra. Uh, we don't see people in the streets, except at the part of the city nearby the sea, nearby the beach, around the beach, in the restaurants. But okay, it's a few hundred people there. More than <laughs> Irapetra. But where are the others? Someone will say it's hot, but it's not so hot. It's uh, September and uh, it's windy day, maybe 25 degrees, and uh, you can't see people in the streets, you can't see kids. It looks empty. And the same experience was at the Rapet. We didn't have the same experience at Sonisos, at Iraklio, at uh, Hanya, at uh, Retimno, even at Agia Pelagia. It's not only missing uh, tourists, it's a missing of local population. Maybe we don't know about some customs here, uh, but maybe because it's Sunday. But Sunday is Hersonisos. I am there for one month and uh, Sunday is absolutely busy in its own way at Iraq also so it's it's some kind of mystery for me um, and I think it will not be the place where I should stay next next year thank you for watching